everyone and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO with me, Sadman Plays. We are ready to get started. Now, today's episode is going to answer the question, how do you improve airline satisfaction? Because this has been something that's been bugging me. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in a second what has happened. Basically, all our airline satisfaction has gone out the window. But we're going to try and fix that in this episode. So, watch along. Uh, hopefully, you will learn something as well. Uh, because I haven't really done a lot of these tutorials and whatnot. Uh, but let's get started. But before we do get started, though, just a small reminder for you guys to remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, and comment and let me know what you guys think of the series so far, and if you would be interested in more of these sorts of uh, gameplay. Um, uh, sorry, tutorial stuff. Okay, so, obviously I've done some changes. Uh, I've got the money up back to positive, but it is also going down again. That's because the uh, airline satisfaction has gone down again which we're going to try and fix. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, for some reason, there's another traffic jam right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to sort of address this, guys. I'm going to sort of address this. Uh, yeah, so the target of today's episode is probably going to be really big. So I'm not sure if we will be able to do it, like, in one go, but we'll give it a go nevertheless. This has been sort of a problem. Uh, the main problem is that I've got, like, too many of these in one place. Basically, I've got to move them around a lot. These... Um, thingies that we call, I can't remember. Uh, anyways, yes, that's what we have to do. We have to remove all of these. First thing is going to be, guys, we're going to actually uh, look up how is it doing in terms of our airline satisfaction. It's at 29 for Air Strada. Low is sitting at 0%. By the way, uh, we've got a few which are really happy, as you can probably see. Actually, no, this has gone down as well. So, uh, they're not really happy, it seems. Uh, I have done something. I have actually gone around and reduce the prices. Okay, I've reduced almost all the prices to green, but we are doing as much as we can. Uh, so hopefully that will make some differences. I've added like another extra security gate right there, by the way, just in case you haven't noticed it. Uh, I've got these two sorted just so that we can like place some more security guards, uh, like security, not security, staff room so that security can sort of wait and, you know, uh, have some fun. Uh, not have to go away because these guys tend to go away way too much. I don't know why, but they tend to do go away. Um, over here, I've got like an, an extra set of uh, toilets. I've also put like a way out for these guys, whoever gets stuck. Because some people just get stuck uh, by missing their flight. So I figured why not just put in like some extra exits. And they can now exit through this way. I've moved these chairs to on this direction. Uh, we're going to introduce chairs and whatnot later on. Uh, because there's just so much to do guys. We've also introduced this toilet over here. We've also gone over to the other side, introduced this uh, stairway up. And then we've got toilets here toilets there, a walkway, these are not actually exactly the same size, even though they should be, I should really get rid of this because it's not correctly assigned, we will fix it, not to worry, here we go, let's do this together, uh, it's the same as some of the other ones, so not to worry, here we go, one and two, should be done, yes, this is the male toilet, let's go turn it on like that, and this is the female toilet, let's turn that on as well, so those should be good, I will have like more toilets here and there, but it's gonna wait for a long time um but anyways let's work on this let's work on this now i have no clue if this is gonna work or not but what we will do guys is because there's like so much traffic i'm gonna have to run this game so that they can just go through because i don't know why this is like such a big problem but yeah i'm gonna sort of have to like diversify this a lot and move a lot of these guys around uh so give me a second i'll be done with this pretty soon uh but yeah it will take a second Okay, so now that these have been put in, um, they are going to be off the main road, which is the roundabout sort that I sort of created. And I will we'll actually change this too, but we'll probably look into this later on. I don't think we'll be using this, uh, because I want to expand this quite a lot, okay? And at the moment it's 100,000, I mean 200,000, so that's good. But anyways, look at this. Uh, this is actually helping because no one's actually having to stop to go in or come out, so that's good. And hopefully that will sort of help us out. now. I've also moved this, uh, because I feel like that was a stupid move on my part. We should have this always over here, uh, like exactly diagonal to, not diagonal, uh, is it diagonal? Yes, diagonal to these lines. No, I, do, I don't know which word it is, but okay, uh, I want them to be over here. Now, we want to make sure that this is also a roundabout, but we don't want to do anything over here or there. Or there, actually, that's fine. I'd love to get these rolling, thank you, you guys go up, and so should you. So, come on now, get this done, and we will be okay. There we go, see? I hope that this makes things a lot better, because, as you can see, 
uh, everyone's moving along uh, a lot better than before. Now, because we have run out of money, I'm gonna have to run the game again for a while because we have been losing money, guys, mainly because these guys have been uh, stuck here and the planes basically did not get their passengers in. So, we need to wait up and make some money. I mean, I had like over 200,000 and I should have really done it back then, but I didn't. So, uh, because I wanted to share with you guys how to do this. So, let me just wait. Build up some money and then we'll come back so that we can like do a massive overhaul to be honest. So yeah, uh, give me a second, I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, going to be honest, uh, it seems like we're starting to lose way more money than we are bringing in. Um, yeah, let's wait until the end of this hour where we are making about 7, 10, actually. Maybe we will make some money, 15 grand in the last hour, but we did end up losing quite a lot more. The question is, where are my... Exits and what are coming from? Yeah, I mean, we definitely need to use, increase the runway uh, prices, guys, because otherwise things won't work out for us. But these guys are just all over the place and they're not really happy. By the way, I've also enabled this one to accept like medium flights, not small ones, just medium and large. And this one does uh, medium and small, so that way we have like a fair balance of sorts. Uh, this was one of the reasons why, uh, what I wanted to do. But we seem to be going in the negative direction. We actually made money last month, but we still seem to be going in the negative direction for some reason. I have no clue why that is. Um, okay, let me just turn on the finances just to see. We lost about... Ooh, we lost a lot of money. Okay, I think I know what we have to do. Um, we have to take out a loan, guys. We have to take out a loan. There's no other way because we are still losing uh, a lot of reputation with our clients so what we will do is we're going to start taking out loans first and then we're going to do some very much weird stuff which i'm quite certain you are going to be very upset with let's just see first okay uh first let's go to the loan section we have to take out quite a big loan uh where are you where are you okay let's go here let's go to what am i doing seriously the loans should be in here economy uh, offer contracts, no thank you. By the way, there's going to be offer contracts all over the place. Uh, happy pig, all that. Hey, no, 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 but I would like to get some loans, please. Uh, 1.4 million for 7%. Okay, we will sort of take it, uh, and we're going to wait. Uh, now is the time to do something very drastic in order to improve our airport. That is correct. In order to improve our airport, we must go to here, uh, go to vehicles, and we must sell all our vehicles. You've heard me correctly, guys. Uh, you'll see in a second why, but let me just go around and sell everything we own because, again, you'll see in a second why. So there we go, no <laughs> no vehicles whatsoever for us. Now, we are actually going to rebuy them uh, because I've got to do them separately, guys. Here's the deal. When you sort of go around this area, right, uh, you see there's like so many planes, guys, and they each need their own services. Uh, that's one of the big problems that we are facing because Say like we have about 10 uh, baggage cars, right? They don't go to everyone at the same time. They basically are like, because one baggage car is taking stuff from this stand, going downstairs, and then has to bring back the stuff over here. So 10 baggage cars just won't cut it. What we will have to do instead is we're going to have to assign baggage cars to each and every single one of them, okay? So that is what we are going to do. Now, we have sold almost everything. We're going to assign each and every single vehicle that we need. Uh, we're going to start with these four. Uh, I'm going to just show you guys these four and then we're going to sort of separate them out, okay? Uh, because it's going to take a long, long time for me to get all these, okay? So for those, those four, uh, we're obviously going to need some of these, but let me start with these guys, okay? Let's start with, let's turn off everything. Let's start with the fuel stuff, okay? We've got the big ones, obviously, and we don't really need, oh, see lazy, I just, uh, which one's the Jet A1 and AV gas? I believe AV gas with these four should be fine because AV gas goes to these guys. General aviation, just a few that we have. Uh, okay, uh, that's done with the AV gas and whatnot. Now we need to work on this, okay? Uh, firstly, uh, we will need one, two, three, four of these uh, right here. Three, four, order now. And to be honest, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, yes. To be honest, we can sort of mi mix and match all of these because they don't all come at the same time. But how many do we need? Okay, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, well, that's ten plus four, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, 
got like 31 uh, stands, so I'm gonna guess we will need about 20 of the fuel trucks in order to manage them all at the same time. So we've got four already, and I'm gonna go for 16 more. And apparently we can only get like 10 at a time. Order now. Uh, can I sort of order? Yes, no? In progress, so we will have to wait for this one. Ah, man oh man. Okay, uh, let them sort of do this. We will also come back to this because we're not done, because everything needs to be here. Uh, now that that is done, uh, we will actually need 30 of these uh, large pull horse, baggage truck, roof or roofless, doesn't really matter, but we will need 30 of these guys. And we can only order like 10, so I'm going to order 10 of these, and I'm going to order 10 more of these, and we will sort of continue, and because you can order at most 10 at any given time, uh, once they sort of come in, we will see what we can do. Uh, okay, these are almost done. Let's go back to this one. Okay, yeah, give me a second. Let's just let them arrive for a second. Uh, new products are arriving. Let me just go see how many are there. Quite a few, to be honest. Okay, there we go. So, it seems like quite a few are coming through. And again, these guys are getting stuck over here. That shouldn't really be a problem. Like, don't come this way. Go that way. Ah! Okay, let me just see if I can sort of fix this up. Because this has sort of been an issue. Uh, whenever trying to go through a corner, they usually go uh, like that, okay? So, don't come this way! Oh my gosh, these guys are gonna basically cause the death of me, to be honest. But anyway, seems like we're finally moving in. Uh, okay, how many of these do we have? Um, yeah, loads of cars to go out and loads to come in. Uh, but my question is, how many of the fuel cars do we have? We've only got like three. Uh, that's fine. We'll be fine. We will be fine. I'm going to the airport. Okay, uh, let them sort of come in, guys. We're going to start losing a lot of money, so I'm going to sort of go through this quickly, and then we're going to come back very quickly. Uh, so give me a second. I'll be back. So, guys, what has happened is I've basically assigned each one of these uh, their own um, baggage truck. We're we still waiting up for 10 more so that we can like assign them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, yeah, we might need like more than uh, 10, but we will see. Uh, anyways, yes, I have basically assigned those and we are going to keep on doing this for almost everything. Uh, baggage trucks and we're going to do this for the... Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what are these? Okay, go away. Uh, we're going to do these for the belt loaded trucks. We're going to do these for the uh, pushback trucks. Everything will have something so i mean every stand will have their own assigned props that's the main thing that's what we are going to go for obviously not every stand will need uh like a uh, what do you call this uh the transit one what's it called the bus yes air shuttle bus they will not need all of them uh we will not need everyone to have staircases so we will have to do them individually but this is what i'm going for obviously we're going to start losing a lot of money that's why i'm running this very slowly uh, once we get our 10 more baggage trucks in, uh, we will sort of assign them. And I know you guys must, must be thinking, we could have just assigned them um, on like when we had all those cars. But the problem is, guys, this game is not optimized to do that, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep losing track, okay? I'm already losing track of where I've assigned these guys, right? Uh, let's take a look-see. Turn them all off, off, please. Okay, yep. I've already lost track of where I've got these assigned, so, okay, unassigned, right there, so... See, this is the problem, they're unassigned and they're like all over the place. So I need to do this individually and go through whichever is like unassigned so that I can like assign them. So yeah, give me more time because I'm gonna assign like every single stand their own stuff. And that's over time will sort of help us with the uh, reputation, but it's gonna take some time, it's really gonna take some time. So give me a lot of time and I'll be back in like probably an hour or so. Because I don't think it's going to happen immediately. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Alrighty, so after suffering significant amount of losses, uh, as you can see, we've come down to almost half the amount that we had before. And we have also spent a long, long time, almost about an hour, uh, going through each one of the stands and assigning them their own respective vehicles. There's no vehicles that like each and every single one of theirs, so there's that. Uh, also, I removed this bit so that we could install a few other things, which is not here. Um, where could it be? Where could you be, my friend? I need some Jet A1 fuel tanks right there. Yes, okay, yep, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, so I feel like it's correct. But unfortunately, too far away from fuel depot. 
So I might have to move this completely again. Uh, okay, no, not a problem, but we've got like everything set up, guys. We've got like every single stand having their own things. Uh, like every single stand. Like this is now, I've, I've basically went into some trouble uh, where I couldn't remember which ones I assigned to what. So I renamed everyone. Uh, this is MA1, this is MA2, medium aircraft. We've got small aircrafts. Or I think these are like 12 or something. This is 12. Yeah, SA12. Uh, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get the point, you get the point. But anyways, every single stand now has its own dedicated stuff, okay? Uh, this one has its own dedicated uh, thingy, like this one. Uh, I don't remember the name. Oh, what's this? They could park. It's a large full force baggage truck. Yep, uh, it's got like its own baggage truck uh, parked right there. Apparently not being used for some reason. Uh, but we've also got a pushback truck, we've got like, everything is dedicated now, okay? We only ha need about seven, uh, you know, buses, as you can see, they're just standing there, ready to take on flights whenever they come, because again, they are assigned to those aircraft, and so are these staircrafts, because they don't need to keep on coming back and forth, guys. That's not what we're doing, so we have basically improved the logistics quite a lot, uh, so I'm hoping that's gonna help us out, but again, it's going to be like, I mean, next day we're not going to make any money, okay? We're not going to make any money next day. It's going to take a long, long time for us to basically get back what we need. We've also got, like, dedicated belt loaders, which is, like, another thing. Uh, one thing we do have... See, this is assigned to MA3. This is MA3, right? Uh, so one thing we do have extra of is actually baggage trucks, okay? Uh, we've went for, like, uh, half, half the amount, a little over half the amount of uh, fuel trucks because you... Some stands will be empty most of the times, as you can see, one, two, three, four. Uh, many of them are empty, and most of them won't go through the same process at the same time. So I didn't assign any of the fuel trucks, but I do have everything else assigned. As you can see, uh, this guy's just ready, he's ready, everyone's ready, and this guy is not even going to leave, just pushing this off, and he's there. So that is going to be helpful, hopefully, and these guys will hopefully go through the security systems faster as well, because we've got one, two, three, four now. Um, going to be honest. I'd love for them to be moving a little bit faster. Should we include another one and totally get rid of this? I don't know because, again, we need like a path for these guys to basically go. Maybe we take out this bit. Uh, we can't do anything else. I mean, we've just introduced so much stuff in this tiny, tiny space. Um, yeah, look at the amount of people that are coming through now. That's actually pretty good because before I had like less queues, so I'm guessing that people are coming through more easily, so they must be having an easier time uh, getting off of their airplanes, really. When you think about it, look at that, look at that, more people coming through. So I think that's gonna help us out. It's gonna take days before we can sort of be sure though, because as you can see, uh, today's flights are on, already capped at 106, which is actually better than yesterday. So I'm gonna be honest, uh, that's gonna streamline our process of bringing passengers to and from the, you know, airplanes much smoothly. Uh, this is 94. Uh, 89, so yeah, we do have like planes scheduled, but again, it goes down because they are further away, so next day it might sort of go up again. Uh, this, on the other hand, hmm, I mean, I moved them around just so we can like do some stuff. I'd love to actually get rid of this completely so that I can place this in the middle and get like two tanks worth of this because this one is completely. Uh, coming back and forth way too many times. Maybe something I could do is maybe I could go over here. Yes, this is gonna be the new place, guys. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so what we will do is simple and easy. By the way, where is the jet fuel A1 thingy? Um, oh, it's right over there. See, it's like, it's got its like own dedicated space, so I'm not even sure why these are like so weirded out. Okay, let's go here though, because I'm, I wanna place this in right over there, and I feel like it's gonna be a good place because, again, there's like literally no one. Uh, in this area, so let's work this out. Firstly, we're gonna go over here, let the rest of the things sort of do their thing, and by the way, look at this, let's let's sort of take a look-see, I mean, it's gonna be pretty bad, I'm quite certain, but I wanna see how much we sort of spent. We spent about 378,000 uh, without construction, but that doesn't really count as construction though, so there is that. Uh, okay, um, what was I gonna do? Yes, we're gonna go have ourselves a small, no, we want like a medium jet A1 fuel tank thingy, and also, I need to figure out where is the best uh, setting for this. By the way, I need like 2x2, two two. okay. Um, I mean, I wanted to have this. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing right over there would be better. Ah, 
I, I can't tell exactly the size, you know? I can't tell, so that's about 1 to 3. Okay, that's not 2 by 2, that's 3. Okay, so that's about... That should do the trick, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like that's the trick. Come on now, game. Don't go screwing me up again. Um, by the way, is it the right one? I keep forgetting. Yeah, this is the right one, so I'm hoping that things are gonna work out fine. Let's sort of see this go in, and also we can work on the other one. Uh, yep, jet A1 fuel tanks, one, two... Basically, we don't want the other guy coming in all the time. You can come in from time to time, not all the time. We're just gonna keep like these four, and hopefully you'll give me one uh, tank full of fuel, and then you'll leave me be, because I don't want you to sort of mess up stuff. Also, these guys won't sort of go in here, which is basically causing some more traffic, which is uh, interesting, because I sort of think... Maybe we can move these two over here, then. Maybe even this one over there. I mean, we will see, we will see. Again, this does not really matter, but we'll wait for this to be built. Uh, you guys are already there. Uh, you've got all the stuff that you need. Yep. Do we need any more of these guys? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like these are going through. Okay, this guy is now leaving. Oh, there's like one more. Do we need like more than one? That's a good question. Is there like more than just that amount? I mean, these are like large. So they're supposed to be like working for these. I'm, I'm not sure guys though, I, I don't know if I should really assign fuel trucks. You guys let me know in the comment section below if you think that will help, because at the moment we seem to be doing okay over there. Everything's matched up, so that's good, that's really good, because as you can see, uh, we've got surplus all over the place, even though we don't need surpluses, and over here we, we seem to be doing that on passenger service. How much are we making per hour? We made profit last hour, unfortunately. We're going to start, I mean, we're going to keep on losing money quite a lot, and we're going to start making money uh, when we get, like, more flights in. And one way to get more flights in is going to be, have to be, like, improving these, which are actually going down still further. Actually, no, I think this one actually went up, uh, up. I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait to see that one. Uh, these guys are still going through, I mean, Wildcat's gone down to 2%. Uh, Trinity Airlines, I don't get it, though. I mean, I changed one of the, um, what do you call this? This one, right here, it looks like Indian Airlines, so I basically changed this color, all this stuff, just so that we can like fit in like Indi uh, Indian colors, Indian black colors, there's the orange, the green, and the white of the flag, but yeah, I mean, uh, you were doing good before when I was sort of testing things out, but now you're not. Okay, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna point it out that you, even though I've treated you nice, you are doing this to me now. <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing I'm going to do, guys, because we need to increase revenue, okay? Uh, I completely forgot that we actually had this, okay? <laughs> I completely forgot about this, so what we will do is... Uh, operating cost is $50, means preparation 4 times, we can sort through 10,000... Okay, uh, we're going to start this off, okay? Just so that we can, like, start making more money. And for that, we're going to need some sort of a uh, sky garden. Okay, let me just go here firstly. Uh, go on, filter by catering food suppliers, okay? So we've got Happy Pig, Sky Garden, and Conway Catering, but for, because of the star system, we know they're going to be providing us with the cheapest option available, 71 cost per delivered food item. Uh, okay, the catering food supply will deliver 2,932 items per delivery, okay. And then this guy's 45, wait. Um, how come? This is 71, and this is 45, cost per delivered food item, so that's like... Three more, so should we actually go for these ones? Like the cheap? Are they like cheaper? No, this one's like the cheapest. I don't know what the other one was sort of doing. But I figured like the star system always is better. Food would automatically be delivered when a catering report has less than 10% remaining. I mean, this is. There's nothing. A Sky, Sky Garden would not supply you with the most reliable, reasonably priced, the highest quality uh, food delivered service. I mean, this is like more. Like, there's nothing. For, okay, you know what? Let's go for. Sky Garden. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's sign with them. Okay, uh, we're not done yet because we need to now get the um, food truck thingies. Okay, what is it going to be? I'm quite certain we're going to turn these off. And we're going to go, not these, uh, not of these. And none of you either. Well, not you. Is it you? No. Where is it gone then? Okay, yeah, it is this one. Okay, uh, catering trucks. We're going to start buying some. We're going to get like 10 you can buy maximum one goes, so we're gonna do that first. Uh, once we see our, you know, trucks come in, we are gonna sort of assign, not assign them, we are, because food trucks, we don't really assign them. 
Uh, but here we go. We've got like more of these guys, and now there's a traffic jam over there, which I should have really known. But um, once this goes away, we will start doing more things. There's 10% or less uh, leaf supply at. I want to increase this too because guess what? When we have about 25%, right? Uh, we'll need less trucks to come in uh, in order to you know provide us with food, so that's a good thing. Okay, so these guys are coming in, which means we can now go back and buy a few more okay catering trucks I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna say about 20 should do the trip okay i'm just gonna guess this because we've got like 30 stands at the moment uh so i'm gonna guess 20 should do the trick but we're not done yet because you've got to turn it on by the way i think we're making money because again um we've got to turn this on so that we can like start making money off the aircraft meals and because we like at 300 000, we made 22 grand in the last hour so it's going to take some time, but it's going to come back eventually, and once this goes out, everyone else over here should be fine too. Except for these guys are stuck. Well, that's fine, because again, this guy is just taking some time, he's delivering some food, and once we have like about 25% done, I believe everything should be okay. Um, one thing I might do, because they, uh, these guys will have to come through a lot of traffic if you think about it, because... Yeah, they do have like lots of stuff over there. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but these guys have to go. Sorry, sorry, you're gone, you're gone. Uh, food trucks and whatnot, okay? Uh, they are. I'm guessing they're like in here somewhere. Service trucks, aircraft, uh, cabin cleaning and all that. Service trucks, okay, fuel trucks. This is completely empty, this is empty, this is empty. Got three more over there. Which could, to be honest, be turned in different ways, but you know what, it's fine. Meals, 500, you can do this catering truck, okay? guys are just sitting there for some reason uh but we've got the i think we are going to sort of get like money later on not yet but it's gonna take some time but look at this uh they're sort of having to come through all of these traffic uh right because there's like stuff over here for these guys but then again we do have like everything set up so i'm gonna be honest it's fine yeah i'm gonna be honest it's fine uh, i think it's gonna be fine uh, are we gonna make money? That's a good question. Again, we have to wait like so long. Okay, we have made, we've made like 10 grand in the past hour. And average daily, average 24 hours, we're starting to make more money. By the way, look at this. It's going up, it's going up. It's gone to cash flow positive. I told you guys, I told you guys, over time, things will look good. I feel like we're doing good because, again, uh, we made about 12 grand in the last hour, which was 2 grand more than the last hour, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like, again, we've gone back to cash flow positive, which means, guys, I feel like we have it. I feel like we've done it. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. We've already got 100, and 100 flights tomorrow, and four more will probably be added. But again, look at this. We're making money, people. We're making money. I'm going to sort of <laughs> attribute most of this to the food truck stuff. Uh, you never know, but uh, I'm going to be honest. I feel like we have made enough money. Uh, that we can call it, call this episode a success, where you learn how to revive your airline satisfaction. Uh, even though none of them have... Actually, no, this is one up. This just went up from 3 to 5%. Huh, ah, that's actually not bad. Trinity, you were like 3%, right? And you've gone down. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't know exactly. I, I should really remember what happened in each one of them. But they're like really upset, guys. They're really upset. But we do have like plenty of flights signed up so that we can like keep on making money. Uh, so I'm going to be honest, I feel like, yeah, I'm pretty confident we're going to start making money. And we just lost money, after saying that, uh, in the last hour. Uh, in the last few hours, I actually lost quite a lot of money. But maybe because it was quite, uh, you know, not very busy. No, it was busy. I'm not even sure why we started losing money all of a sudden. Even though we were like doing, I mean, these places are completely empty. Uh, you know, small aircrafts are just not interested, guys, for some reason. But again, I feel like these are the steps that you need to do. This, these are the steps that I learned about. By the way, look at this. Tulip Airlines is at 9%. Oh no, it was Trinity who was at 1%. Okay, so that's fine. Um, but again, I, I, I think these should work. I'm not even sure what is causing these problems. But I'm going to go over here one more time. And increase this to 80%. Uh, sorry, 80 minutes. So that we can like, uh, allow for these planes to just, you know... Uh, 60 minutes is the delay time, so even if you miss by 60 minutes, you should be fine completely. So you've got the food truck, you've got the uh, cleaning truck, you've got these trucks. Uh, are you on time is my question. This is LA1. We can sort of check this out, by the way. Uh, let's go to LA1. 
which is okay la1 is already on time uh a little actually la3 is a good question okay that's like all the way over here let's see i believe this is la3 yep okay this just left this is la4 uh why do i always open this la4 come on now la4 let's check this out okay uh, la4 just left and i think it's sort of left in time for this to come in and i'm quite positive this is going to leave on time too uh, what time is it? 11.45 that you're supposed to leave, so I'm going to sort of see, keep an eye on this. Uh, let's go upstairs to see if everyone's sort of voting. Yep, uh, 11.45 is when you sort of are supposed to leave. Got almost everyone over there. Uh, question is, are they already inside? Okay, they're like... But they're cutting it very close. They're cutting it very, very close. Like, there's just, what, five minutes left? And that's sort of important guys, you've got to make sure that everyone sort of gets into their plane before, you know, uh, they can sort of leave. Uh, it's already 11.45, they are still sort of going there. Uh, one of the ways to do that might be to do this. Oh, let's check out our economic uh, reactions, really. Uh, how much did we earn? Economic reactions? Is that even a thing? Well, let's see. 224,000, look at that baby, we have made it happen, we have just made it happen. Whew! I was really, really nervous there for a second, but look at that, we basically went up to two, uh, 400,000, uh, 17 grand over there, we are losing less and less money every hour, uh, but you have to remember, we have got a loan where we are paying back 5 grand, so that's about uh, 4 grandish uh, less than what, okay, that's about 5 grandish, like 4,500 less than what it is showing us, so that's like about 4,000 less, I'm gonna be honest, and we're making 4,000 more here, so it's going to be going up and down until we can sort of get like more people uh, at our airport. And again, I'm just trying to figure out uh, if this is working. I can't tell. This has gone down by 1%. I can tell the Tulip Airlines were like 9% uh, before. Um, let me just go up here for a second, right? That's General Aviation. So these guys are having trouble. Baggage loaded onto aircraft. So recent aircrafts are not getting the baggages. Now why is that all of a sudden? An issue this was like 100% before so we've got uh, these guys are going through I mean everything's working fine so these guys are going through uh, I think I know what the problem is I think we have got to assign like double the number of um, baggage cars for each one of these one to take stuff to there and one to bring stuff in so I think that's the problem but we'll have to wait and see for that because what is this guy doing okay yeah they, they're just waiting for the next truck okay let me just see what happens with this one because that would be an indicative of what might be happening but then again is there a flight coming in here i don't think so uh they're just assigned there so i guess they're just standing there but we do have like trucks and whatnot okay there's like a baggage truck there oh okay so this is coming through collecting baggages okay everything good i don't know again this guy's working really hard by the way uh look at this so everything's working fine fueling is done Baggage halfway done, so we can keep an eye on this. Where's the baggage truck? It just left. Um, okay, the baggage truck just left, but I'm just thinking. Uh, they do have like a long way to go from here to the place over there. So we could do something. If we connect this like that, perhaps? I mean, that could be something. This is like completely empty though. That's like really like, good for me. Um, so yeah, we could totally... Just connect something over here and go like that. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves a little bit more room over here with some more uh, service roads going from point A to point B. Uh, just to help them go a little bit faster. Obviously, it's sort of crossing this, which I don't like. I'm going to be honest. I don't like that a lot. Literally nothing else for us to do. Uh, we could totally go over there if we wanted to. Uh, go. this seems like... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, this is like so at an odd angle that we can't do this. Okay, uh, but hopefully this sort of helps us out. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this guy is still... Okay, so you're supposed to leave at 6.40. Sorry, 4.40. And you've actually done everything. Yeah, he's done everything. Literally, look at that. Status boarding closed. Uh, so you are going to leave on time, right? So there shouldn't be any problem for you because you're supposed to leave at 4.40. It's like... 3.40 right now, we've got like 17 passengers, uh, all of them just coming in at the same time. Uh, okay, so that's done, and he's leaving 20 minutes ahead of schedule. 
I told you we were gonna do this. I told you we were gonna do this. Uh, by the way, yeah, I'm gonna need like more than just one baggage truck because this is the one. This is assigned here, MA1. This is the extra one that I got. I'm quite certain. Uh, yep, assigned parking not like available. So yeah, we're gonna need like more than just one uh, baggage trucks on each one of them. If one has to bring, one has to take at the same time. So they work like together. Otherwise, things won't work easily. Oh, where are you going? You're supposed to be here. Yep. So that's how, like, how you do it, guys. I think it's working. Obviously, we're starting to make money. Um, but then again, we do have, like, the satisfaction hasn't really gone up, but it will go up. I believe it will go up over time. It's just going to take a long time because uh, this apparently takes about a week or so to, you know, reset. Uh, I mean, that's what I heard, I mean, read on Reddit. By the way, look at that. We've got 104. One more, sorry, 106, I make that 106, one, uh, three more, actually, apparently we have more flights coming in. Uh, I don't know where they fit those in, but we seem to be getting, like, more flights, so that's good. So that's about one more, uh, over here than the previous day, so we should be making more money. So anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna call it because I've basically gone on for, like, over two hours at this, and I've been working on it non-stop as well, uh, which took a long time. So yeah, uh, also, this is sort of going to be helpful for us, I think. Um, okay, someone just came from that direction. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, again, these guys are going from here to there to there. Okay, that's like very far off. Aren't you guys sort of assigned there? Yeah, they are assigned. It's just that we need like double the amount of baggage trucks, guys. Okay, uh, so I'm going to call it, guys. I'm going to call it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if you think there's something better we could do. But look at the vehicles, guys. They're, like, completely maxed out. They have no problem. Uh, 12 jobs claimed, but we've got, like, uh, 15, which means, like, double. I need, like, more than, like, double. Yeah, I need more than double. Uh, service, and this will be fixed offline again, but again... Uh, the baggage is the main problem, so we will sort of go at it again. So anyways, I'm gonna go off, so until next time, it's gonna be a goodbye from me, Sandman Plays, and it's gone to 93%, 74 again, so I'm not even sure what's going on. So until next time, it's gonna be a goodbye from me, Sandman Plays, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys next time, so until then, bye-bye.